Hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies where I am sick, I got no sleep, but I'm still here because I love making these videos. So here we are. I actually recorded yesterday's video in advance just because I had, I had some time and I, I knew I was going to be sick because both my wife and kid were sick. So I was like, I know it's coming, so I should probably have something. So uh, this is going to be a shorter week for sure, but... Uh, at least, we'll at least get you a couple more episodes. I believe we were on our way to the lecture hall to talk to Robin, right? Yeah, so I was hoping I'd have time during the week to do like a couple more. There she is, Robin. Hey, Robin. Oh, Athena, Apollo. What are you watching there? <laughs> oh, it just so happens to be a video of the mock trial. Oh, I need that. I had to use a bit of coercion to get it, but the end justifies the means, right? Oh, you think that way too. There it is again. Professor Means sure has a lot of influence around here. Care to look into the true connection between the murder and the mock trial with me? Uh. Sounds great, but do you mind if we ask you some questions first? <laughs> sure, I'll tell you anything you want. Uh, do I want to present anything first? Uh, oh, the costume. Oh, that's Juniper's stage costume. It's so cute. Why don't you try it on, Athena? Come on, just try it. Um, it's really pretty to look at, but it's really not my style with all the frills and stuff. Uh, what? No, that's not true. I mean, there's a Cinderella inside every girl. You look great in anything. Just put it on and I'll brush some yellow glaze. It's your favorite color, right? Then it's in the kiln you go. How would you like that? Rare, medium, well done? Uh, well done? Wait. So when she said Cinderella, she literally meant to burn me to cinders. <laughs> Alright, mock trial script. Okay, that's fine. Anything about this? Yay! A present from Athena. Oh, this is so exciting. Um, sorry, but it's not a present. I wanted to know whether you knew anything about it. That's not nice, Athena. Why are you so cranky today? I wasn't until a moment ago. Voice print analysis. Alright, that didn't help me. Um wait, I'm a lawyer. Whoa, it's check your out your badge. What do you think? Nice and shiny, huh? Hey, yeah, it's awesome. If the plating ever starts to peel or it gets all bent up, let me fix it for you. Really, thanks. No problemo. I'll have some primo clay and glaze at the ready just in case. Wait, what does clay have to do with my badge? Uh, I would just not get that messed up. All right. No, the, the secrets. All right, well, we'll go in order. About your confession today, why'd you do it? Because Juniper hasn't done anything wrong. I had to stop the trial by any means possible. Right, the end justifies the means. So you're a follower of Professor Means too? Professor Means is a wonderful teacher, as is Professor Court. I like them both. Interesting, but she seems to follow Professor Means philosophy more. She brushed that one off like a pro. But with that style of justice, you run the risk of breaking the law. Uh, well, I'm prepared to quit school because of this case. What? what why? I, I, I want to be an artist. That's what I really want, man. But no, my parents forced me to study to become a prosecutor. But if the trial went south, you'd have to drop out and give up on being a prosecutor. That's what you're really after, isn't it? Uh. Mm-hmm. I want someone who literally changes at the bat of an eyelash. I guess she's been dealing with her own problems too. It totally makes sense. Yeah, I suppose so, but that doesn't make what she did right. Alright, I guess tell us a little bit more about the day of the crime. Could you tell us about what you were doing on the night of the murder? Finishing a statue! I was on the stage until the last bell. 
That's right, you made the statues of Mr. Wright and Professor Gavin, didn't you? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I did. Both of them. This is just a formality, but can you prove you were making the statues at that time? Uh, can, can I prove it? You think I'm the killer now? No, but something you have to say can help us. No! Uh, th that's not what I meant. Both you and Robin were still at school after 7 p.m., but neither of them can prove exactly what they were doing. Can't We can't rule either one out, but I think it's unlikely. I think Professor Means is, like, the main suspect, which could just be the game trying to push you in, in, a, in a bad direction, but it makes the most sense. Could one of them have really murdered Professor Court? Although, I mean, it seems like they would have been butting heads for years, so why now? And plus, two out of three in this group seem to subscribe to, to Means' philosophy, so I don't think there's any danger of them changing things. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud. Have there any problems now that everyone here knows you're a girl? <laughs> no worries there. I discussed the matter with Professor Court some time ago. I told her I wanted to let everyone know I was really a girl. I just today I found out that she spoke with school administration on my behalf. Wow, they must really like you. I know, right? But now I can finally be myself here at school. I don't have to hide the fact that I love girly clothes. That's why, Athena, I simply must have this and this by any means possible. Uh, that's kind of important evidence. Uh... What? We need this evidence. This is evidence we need for the trial. Sorry, but no can do. Ah, uh, don't be such a party pooper, Athena. Come on, please. Pretty please. What? Stage costume related evidence taken in classic and justify the mean style. <laughs> I'm already, I'm already against this. Oh, darn it. Uh, anyway, thank you again, Athena. Thank you for revealing who I really am. I wanted everyone to know before the snitch found out. Wait, what? The snitch? Sounds like a new lead. No, that would just be, uh... Miriam. There's a rumor going around that one of the students here is a snitch. Miriam. I hear they're watching everything we do. Our activities, our relationships, our interests. I'm reporting it all to one of the professors. Wait. Okay. But why would anyone do that? Officially, I hear to seek out misconduct among the student body. But rumor has it grades were being bought and sold through the surveillance network. Oh. Huh. Okay. Now this is starting to point more towards a student that did this to get Juniper out of the way. So who... I mean, Mir if it's a student, Miriam is the prime suspect. I don't know if I buy that, though. Th that's bribery. The situation at Themis Legal Academy is worse than I thought. While all this is important stuff, I still want to ask about that thing in the art room. I have to present some evidence to show her what I'm talking about, though. Uh, what? Uh... Wait, um... Alright, well, here we go. Aw, oh, man! That's my blood, sweat, and tears in a pile of rubble right there. Why not make the statues again? I'm sure the two of them would be delighted. Hey, yeah, I could totally do that. And this time, I'm gonna make them even more realistic by making full-body molds of my models. Uh, what? Full-body molds? Um... Are you sure it's safe? How about plain old measurements? Oh, Athena, measurements are for wimps. Full on YOLO is what art's all about. I'm gonna drop both of them in a big pool of plaster. Yeah! Yeah, and that is why this is the last <laughs> Phoenix Wright game. I know it's not, but the, this, is, this is where it ends. <laughs> I know I should stop you, but some part of me really wants to see how this plays out. Uh, the end of the franchise. That's how it would play out. Ooh, uh, hold on, oh, oh, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Mm. 
school banner. Q scrap. Uh huh. What did we want to ask about? Justice, that's so cute. You think this is cute? Uh, yeah, totally. The balance of the scales, the keenness of the sword, the cracks running all the way up. That last one's only because I put it back together. Oh, I totally know what you mean. Is that feeling you get when something is so cute you want to smash it to bits? Right? Ah. No. I, I, what? Sorry, but that sounds more like a case of the crazy than a fondness for the cute. Yes, that one. Uh. Alright, we showed that photo. Uh, oh! Uh. The statue in the back, right? Robin, Robin, I just remembered something I wanted to ask you. This photo shows a piece of art on the table. Do you know what it is? Whoa, whoa. whoa. Look at that unique artistic sense. That has to be one of Professor Court's creations. Man. Professor Court's artistic sense? Uh, what? Professor Court's artistic sense. That's a tough one. I'd say it's avant-garde and very eclectic. In other words, it's weird and all over the place. I mean, in layman's terms, come to think of the strange looking painting in the art room. It was one of Professor Court's works, wasn't it? The statue in that photo was originally a statue of Lady Justice? <sighs> Lady Justice? Professor Court had planned on placing it on the judge's bench in the lecture hall? <laughs> but the day before the mock trial, it broke while she was polishing it. She said she'd take it back to the art room and try to fix it somehow. So this is the statue in its proper state? Oh. Oh. You bet. Just look at that wild silhouette. Oh, wow. So cute. Uh, I don't get it. Do you have to be an artist to appreciate stuff like this? Or pretentious. Athena. Lady Justice that you put back together on that stage. Oh, right. I didn't realize before because it was in pieces, but before it was smashed. Maybe it didn't look like Lady Justice, but more like it does in the photo. But what in the world was it doing on the stage? Yeah. So I'm broken on stage. First Court had remade it into a completely different looking statue the day before the mock trial. Okay. Well, I think they're not cut. Wait, what? I feel like I get nothing out of that. I mean, the, the statue thing updated, but... Hmm. And that a student would make a good culprit. Like, someone who wanted Juniper out of the way. Which, Miriam would be the most likely candidate. Like, she would stand to gain the most, the quickest. Okay, then how about watching the mock trial video? Yes. What do you say? Sure, sounds good to me. Uh, so how do you want to watch it? <laughs> All classroom desks at the school have their own built-in computer, you know. Wait, what? Wow, this place is definitely a lot cushier than I thought. I know you guys are in a hurry, so I'll just fast forward to the important parts. Let's start with the professor's pre-trial speech. Uh, can you turn this up? Oh, nope. Good afternoon. I would like to start by thanking you for coming here today. Oh, that sounds like Professor Me- Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, the mock trial, the uh, crown jewel event of this school festival will begin shortly. Is the camera like this the whole time? Yeah, it's in a fixed position in front of the stage. So when I was a student, I too could hardly wait for this day to come. How come teacher speeches always make me so sleepy? Dude. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's just skip to the end of his speech. Yeah, why did we... S okay, there's Junie. No, let the mock trial begin. Hey, what's the deal here? Why is Junie so large in this shot? Because she's literally right in front of the camera. Looks like she cut right in front of the... Thanks, Apollo. <laughs> Juniper was also in charge of the audio. Yeah, though she's already playing a part in the mock trial itself. She had to do it to keep the script details secret. She was all over the place that day. Okay. So that does hurt us that she had opportunity to be everywhere. Ah, here we go. When she wasn't in the trial, she was in the audio control room dealing with the music. Okay. Oh, so this is what the lecture hall looks like. Yeah, the place we're standing in. Yeah, yeah. That, that's about right. Looks like there's a judge's bench back by the screen and a witness stand up front. Oh. Why are there stairs? Oh, I don't like that. What are these balconies with the professor's names on them? Those are faculty seats. Professor Means and Professor Court were in charge of scoring the mock trial. Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. Okay, let's fast forward this a bit. Okay. Q standing like Phoenix. And that's why the defendant is definitely guilty. Wait, no. Hold on. And that's... Oh, wait. And that's why the defendant is definitely guilty. Ah, that was me. Could you tell? Uh, objection. If real Coet used her bare hands to stab her professor with an arrow, I don't think so. Wait, what? You're the line of the mock trial, Paul, but you made it sound kind of weird. Cut me some slack. It was my first time reading that script. I think Juniper is going to speak next. I didn't do it. I had suffered a breakdown and pretty much lost it. It's true, I shouted, you're a goner, but I didn't mean it. Wow, what an emotional performance. She'd put a real actress to shame. Wait, could you go back and play that scene again? You don't think that's necessary? Yeah. I didn't do it. I had suffered a breakdown and pretty much lost it. It's true, I shouted, you're a goner, but I didn't mean it. Stop, did you hear that? I think you're onto something. Let's play that last part. Apollo! I didn't follow. What are you guys so excited about? I think this piece of evidence should explain it. Time to show Robin a piece of evidence that links the line we just heard to this case. Is it the tape recorder? I'm sure you remember this. It contains a few more voice shouting a violent threat. I'll play it for you. You're a goner. That voice and performance do sound similar, but I can't believe this is happening. It's just a possibility, but the voice on this tape is really a recording. One made from the mock trial video, then that means this evidence was fabricated. Oh. They didn't get to do a voice print analysis in time for court today. That's why the gender of the voice became so important. And if that real killer had foreseen that gender would become a key in today's trial, he would have tried to deflect attention away from himself by making the suspect female. So basically, the only one with something to gain from doing this is our sole male suspect. Or... Uh, wait a second. No way! Professor Means Credo is the end justifies the means. So it makes perfect sense that a student who took those words to heart would fabricate evidence. We need to get that tape analyzed as soon as possible. Hmm. Okay. Allow me to assist you with that. Ow! Prosecutor Gavin, at least make some kind of noise so we know you're there. We'll get him a bell. It's go big or go home. With the rockstar interests for all line timing is everything. Let me make a copy of that tape right now and I'll get you the results as soon as I can. I trust it would be alright. Very much so, thanks!
Well, Athena, it's almost sundown. Is it about time we head over to the detention center? I think Jeannie will agree that this is something that could prove her innocence, but... Will her heart really be open to accepting it? She had to have known this was what I'd find. But she knows Hugh didn't do it. And I kind of believe that. He doesn't stand to gain anything from this that we know of yet. He obviously has a secret. And that cover about covers the main gist of our investigation. Mm, I see. Very interesting. You've been uh, quite the busy beaver today. Yes, quite busy indeed. Note to self, knock off the attorneys. Thank you for all your hard work, Athena. What? I mean, what? <laughs> well, my time's about up, and it will be getting dark soon, so... Junie! You must be tired after being on your feet all day. You should go home and... No, way! You have to listen to me! I don't... I don't want to hear any more. I know what you're going to say, Athena. Junie, you promised! Truth behind this murder? We didn't, though! We failed! Solid evidence showing them what, just what the truth is. We didn't. If we succeed in doing that, I want you to promise that you'll accept it, Junie, no matter how hard it is to hear. Our evidence sucks, though. Only if it's the real truth. She knows it's not. So please, please just listen to what I have to say. Once you've heard me out, I'll let you decide what to do. Um. Suspicions about O'Connor? The voice in this recording has been proven to be yours, Junie, and in the mock trial video, we hear you recording your lines from the script. We're having both of them analyzed now, but from what I can tell, the voices are the same. And the only one who'd benefit from faking the voice recording would be Hugh. But that doesn't make any sense. I mean, Hugh confessed in order to protect me. This may sound strange, but his confession is a ploy to make himself look less suspicious. No, that doesn't make any sense. We were about to lose. In other words, he was just pretending to protect you. Besides, his confession came after you and Robin had already confessed. If he hadn't confessed right then as well, wouldn't that have seemed a little suspicious? <laughs> Say what you will, Athena, but none of us would hurt a fly, let alone kill someone. He was a gifted student. He gets outstanding grades and never causes trouble. Wait, what? What? Wait, Athena. My bracelet reacted just now. It did? But why? Junie, can you look me in the eye and repeat what you just said? Oh, um, none of us would hurt a fly, let alone kill someone. He was a gifted student. He gets outstanding grades and never causes trouble. Now I'm sure of it. She's lying. Let's do this! Uh, all right. This is where her hand is. He gets outstanding grades. Ow. Listen again. He was a gifted student. He gets outstanding grade. I know that's not it. And never causes trouble is the... I didn't see anything. I hate having to go through like the whole thing. Her eyes, do they move? Doesn't seem like it. Where's her other hand? No, it's like off screen. Maybe breathing? She doesn't really move at all though. Wait. 
Is that it? Hold on. Really? I thought it might be like her hand moving because it's right there. I felt like she like clenched up. Is this from her? She doesn't really play with it though. It's definitely the only thing that moves. Gotcha. Juniper, you start cough. Oh, when you're under stress. Okay. You can't hide it from me no matter how hard you try. When you said and never causes trouble, cough escaped and a cough escaped and made your scarf flutter. As for why you were stressed, it's because you were lying. All right. Junie, you're trying to hide Hugh's connection to this case, aren't you? And I believe that also ties into a secret about yourself. A, a secret about me? I, I don't understand. I already told Juniper, so I might as well tell you. I don't really care about her anymore. But why? Juniper's not all sunshine and rainbows like you think she is. He ended their friendship after he found out about Junie's secret, which means he must have felt betrayed by Junie, making her... The killer in a con... She's the snitch? That's the only... I, she's definitely not the killer. I feel like that makes sense with everything we know. She's the snitch? Oh! Oh! Wow! Uh-oh. Could it be... It can't... It could be Hugh. It could be. I really feel like it isn't, though. But now, that just... That just points at him so perfectly. You were a Professor Court snitch, weren't you? There's a rumor going around that one of the students here is a snitch. I hear they're watching everything we do. Our activities, our relationship, our interests. Reporting it all to one of the professors. And while fulfilling that role, you learned something about Hugh you'd rather forget. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Jeannie, please, stop hiding things from me. I hate having to force things out of you like this. Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way. Time to review the evidence to see if I can prove my hypothesis. I must have something that proves Junie's a snitch and Hugh's connection to the case. Oh, wait. Is it that? Or is it... need to sp I feel like this makes more sense right here in professor court's planner it says routine report I believe this is meant to mean when the snitch would report into professor court uh, I also believe professor court planned to meet Hugh in private because of the snitch's info and from their meeting Hugh must have put two and two together and figured out your secret so you see, it all makes sense only if you're the snitch, Junie. Uh, for forgive me. Forgive me, Thena. I, I, I've been lying to you this whole time. The truth is, I, I suspected you from the start. You did? Now this is surprising. I don't buy this. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've talked about friendship so much, but I've been a terrible friend. Juniper, I don't have a special kind of hearing that Athena does, but I don't need it to sense the pain you're feeling inside. Its intensity is directly proportional to how you feel about your friends. Am I right? Apollo. Please, Juni, tell me why you suspected Hugh. I have a feeling that will be the key to getting to the bottom of this whole case. 
Ooh, we'll have to hear about that in the next episode. Ah, hope you guys are in, uh, still enjoying this. Mm, I don't know if I buy it, though. That seems a little too simple. Mm. We'll see. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.